Throughout the years, different styles have come and gone, but horn-rimmed glasses are a timeless classic. These frames, made with real buffalo horn, are carefully shaped by hand using razor-sharp tools. But while a pair of glasses at a local optician might set you back around $100, frames like these, made in the more traditional way, can cost $800 or more. So what goes into making a pair of horn-rimmed glasses? And what is it that makes these frames so special? Hidden above a vintage-style cafe and away from the hustle and bustle of Bangkok city centre, Kampon Sanjit's workshop has been producing bespoke eyewear for the last three years. For Kampon, his love of crafting eyewear comes from history. ผมชอบทําแว่นกลมที่มีความมิติบางอย่างที่โรงงานที่ไม่สามารถทําได้อ่ะเป็นเป็นงานคราฟท์ที่ทําBack in the 13th century, glasses tended to be associated with physical weakness, commonly used by monks to help them read small text. The technology improved throughout the Renaissance, but it wasn't until an American comedian called Harold Lloyd hit the spotlight that glasses became associated with style. A star of the silent movie era, Lloyd was the first to make bold glasses a fashion choice. Where before, audiences were used to seeing people wearing thin wire frames to make eyesight problems seem less obvious, Lloyd's thick dark frames had audiences charmed. The owl-like glasses, worn by famous Swiss architect Le Corbusier throughout the early 20th century, is Campon's inspiration. These were custom-made in Paris at Maison Bonnet, an elite eyeglass shop, also favoured by the designer Yves Saint Laurent. Today, most glasses are no longer made with real horn. Plastic is used to replicate the look of horn or tortoise shell instead. But for craftsmen like Kampon, there are advantages to using real buffalo horn. คือลายของมันแต่ละชิ้นน่ะมันแบบมีความแตกต่างมากมันเหมือนเราแบบเพ้นลงไปในแบบไปในแผ่นแต่ว่าคือมันคือลายที่มันเป็นธรรมชาติ
bend the nose bridge and the arms, he heats the horn with a flame and then squeezes the frames in a special clamp. He then polishes them to the customer's desired level of shine before it's time for assembly. Like breaking in a pair of shoes, the frames usually take a month or two to settle on the wearer's face. Buffalo horn, yeah, when I try it, I'm not sure if it's a cow loop, lady, qua. Young plastic, man, go, so I try it, I'm not sure if it's a cow loop, lady, qua. Young plastic, man, go, so I try it, I'm not sure if it's a cow loop. Horn glasses like these, while once commonplace, are now niche products and not available in every optical store. While the glasses that Campon makes can be ten times more expensive than other frames, handcrafted glasses made with real horn tend to last longer. Metal and plastic has helped to make glasses more affordable and accessible, but for Campon, classic horn rimmed frames are also attracting those looking to become more conscientious consumers. แว่นของผมเนี่ยจะอยู่ติดตัวของคุณไปแบบนานแสนนานจะเป็นคาแรคเตอร์ของคุณและจะเป็นที่จดจำคาแรคเตอร์ของคุณไปอีกนานเลยครับผม